All right, today is the day. I got my paint pieces back and I'm going to install it today. I also got this carbon fiber look F Sport uh, license plate frame on eBay. It's pretty nice looking. It's pretty good quality. It has these little uh, caps to hide your screws. All right. Got all the pieces. Oh, they look so good. Here's the front lip. It's so nice. So he did three stage on it. He did a primer. Uh, I think he did two or three coats of primer, three coats of the paint, and then the clear finish on it. So he paint matched it. He test painted uh, like a scrap piece and put it up against the car and made sure it was the correct color. It is a little brighter, but it's because you know, it's brand new paint versus the car that's, you know, it's six year old paint, but it looks really good. Really excited on installing these today. Here's the rear diffuser. Yeah, he did a really good job. Really good job. Look at that. So he painted the, the sides white like I asked him to. Big shout out to uh, Unique Collision. If anyone's in Houston and needs a really good painter, I recommend these guys. He did a really good job and their price was pretty good. And he clear finished the entire thing again and it looks great. There's the side skirts. Oh man, they look really good. So over here, um, whenever I gave it to him, there was a little bit of slight imperfections. I asked him if he can make sure whenever he primes it to fill in the gaps. And look at it, it's like perfectly smooth. Perfect. Same with this one. This one's really nice. Custom side skirts, hopefully it looks good. Also have these rear spats, he also filled in. So whenever I received these in the mail, these edges, these edges were like, kind of like shaved off. And he filled them in. But these look really good too. Look at that. Custom paint matched. High quality factory paint that he uses. He uses the PPG. That's what they told me. That Lexus uses PPG for their paint. And they use the same factory paint at their shop. Here's the carbon fiber spoiler. I wanted everything paint matched because um, everyone has like the same look. Everyone has carbon fiber lips and spoiler. I just didn't want to have my car look just like everyone else's. And I like the clean look of just all like it looks like like the car was factory like that. So carbon fiber. He left the bottom unpainted. So I'm gonna put the 3M tape on it. Stick it right on here. So I'm gonna wash the car, rinse off the car, rub it with the rubbing alcohol, make sure it's really nice and clean, and then I'm gonna put the 3M double-sided tape and stick it on here. All right, so I'm using 3M BHB double-sided tape. Uh, actual real 3M tape so there's a lot of fakes on Amazon make sure you use the scotch brand I have it in the link in the description the fake ones aren't as sticky uh, this one's the real deal it's super sticky once it's stuck it will basically not come off 
Uh, they do give you this cheap fake one with the side skirts and some other the other pieces. What I did was I put the the real 3M tape on sections where it actually matters, like uh, where there's no screws. So right here, I can't screw it on, so I need it to be strong. Here, uh, it's able to screw into it, so I don't need uh, as strong of a tape. So I put the cheap one on all the sections where a screw will go to. So it's basically the tape will be a backup for the screw and the section on the ends I put the real 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 3M tape. Alright so I'm prepping my surface for the spoiler. I have my 3M tape on the spoiler and then I cleaned the surface with rubbing alcohol and I had it uh, soaked or on this rag and I had it sit on my surface for a little bit and I didn't realize that it damaged my paint. So just a heads up, I did not know that you have to dilute rubbing alcohol to in order to um, clean the car surface or also damage your paint. I'm gonna run to the store later to get rubbing compound. I read online that if I get rubbing compound, it'll take out that uh, discoloration of this yellow spot. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty pissed. Just a heads up. Rubbing alcohol is damaging to your car paint. All right, for the spoiler, I took off, I pre-peeled all the tapes on all of them. And then I peeled back the edges right here to up to like right here and same on this side and then I first so I put the blue tape where it needs to be lined up with I set one side down set the other side down make sure the sides are good and then I peeled the rest I held the middle up peeled the rest of the tape and then slowly dropped it down and now just push down on put some pressure now it's perfect we just finished prepping the rear diffuser. Again, do not use the tape, double-sided tape that they give you. Use the Scotch brand 3M BHB double-sided tape. Uh, this stuff is super duper sticky. Like once it sticks, like you're not gonna get it out. Wow, the other one, this cheap, cheap uh, tape that they give you, uh, I would just, save that for something else use that for whatever you have around the house but for this use the scotch brand make sure it's a scotch brand 3m vhb uh i have the link in the description so be sure to get that you do not want to use the cheap stuff because it's not sticky at all it just comes right off you do not want to cheap out on this stuff um this stuff is a little more expensive but it's worth it because I mean, you're gonna put on it once and you want it to look good and you want it to stay on. You don't want it to fly off when you're driving. Um, beware on Amazon when you search 3M uh, VHB, there will be tons of these off brands that claim that they are 3M VHB. But if you look on the top, um, it'll say brand, Scotch, Scotch brand. That's what you're looking for. All the other ones on Amazon, um, they, have like an off brand, like a Chinese brand, tons of different fake brands. Those are not good. All right, so I peeled the ends off of like every section on every end, and then I moved it over so I can peel it whenever I need to. Uh, so I'm going to peel it as I stick it on there. I'm not gonna peel all the tape off and then stick it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel and slowly move it onto the car. So I just, that's how I'm gonna do it. Have every end pre-peeled and ready to just take off quickly. All right, so for the rear spats, I did one double-sided tape on this this backside. And then right here, there's, there's a gap between 
where it sticks to. So I did two tapes of the good 3M, actual 3M, and I did four tapes of the cheap, the fake 3M that came with the diffuser, and then I folded it because it's a pretty big gap, and uh, it should stick stick to the bottom over there. All right, so I got the rear diffuser installed. I did put I put white silicone on the edge right here to seal this off, and then black silicone on the top to make it look nice and clean. But whenever you're driving, it's still, I'm afraid like the wind will catch underneath here, right? Because the air will go underneath the car and then catch this and pull this off, right? It's kind of unstable. So I bought this plastic, I think it's ABS plastic sheet on eBay. And I'm going to basically connect, connect it to the diffuser and to the spare tire plastic thing. So it'll make a nice aerodynamic flow and it'll also secure this and air will not catch underneath this gap right here. All right, so this is a 36 by 24 inch uh, plastic sheet that I got. Uh, I couldn't find it anywhere else in any stores. So I had to buy it online. I wanted something durable and that won't sag and it's heat resistant as well. So I put the, the sheet underneath the diffuser. I slipped it under the diffuser and then uh, I used a marker to outline the shape of the diffuser so I can stuff it in so it gets a perfect fit. And then I got some cookie, cookie sheet and then I placed it over and I traced the line and then I'm going to cut that line. Well, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to move this line up here so I can save as much material as I can and I need to know that same angle so I'm going to move my sheet to it touches the top and then I'm going to clamp it down clamp it down and then remark the new line and then cut the plastic all right so I marked it I clamped it and I marked it with the new perimeter marker and then uh, you want to make sure you cut the the inside of the line. Go. Now this line is parallel with this line, and I can cut this and save this much material. So I'm going to be using my jigsaw, my Makita jigsaw, and I'm going to be using this Bosch plexiglass bit that I have. So this was looking so far. I have it. Uh, so basically, you can see that the plastic sheet is following the same the same bend as this diffuser all the way. So behind here, underneath. So I have to screw temporarily to hold it. And I need to cut some holes because this metal bracket thing is in the way. So I cut a hole for that and then uh, secure it in. Finished up. So it's 
gonna look. Now it's pretty sturdy. Now the airflow, when it comes in, it'll just glide on by like a true real rear diffuser. And it won't catch this lip and it won't pull it off. Now it's more secured. Looks great. Actually has a purpose to it. And now this is solid. Like this is not moving at all. This is perfect. guys please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel the next couple mods i'll be doing is uh painting the brake calipers white gloss white and then um installing a oil catch can and also i'm gonna get the tti turbo diverter valve and maybe next year i'll be getting a carbon fiber hood with the hood vents and of course, I'll be paint matching it white. You might be asking yourself, why, why don't you leave it carbon fiber? Everyone has the same setup, so I don't like to be like everyone else. I like to be different, so I'm going to be paint matching it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.